What is the function of an engine oil filter? 1. It prevents a buildup of dirt in the engine. 2. It prevents the circulation of sediment in the oil. 3. It prevents water from entering the engine. 4. It protects the wear and tear of the vehicle. What does a broken white line in the center of the road mean? 1. A driver may straddle or cross the broken line in order to avoid an obstruction or to overtake. 2. Do not overtake. 3. Stay to the left. 4. Do not cross the line. What is the immediate effect of a head-on collision between two cars at speed? 1. All persons in each vehicle are thrown violently backward. 2. All persons in each vehicle are thrown violently sideways. 3. All persons in each vehicle are thrown violently forward. 4. Nothing happens. What is a possible effect of overfilling the engine with oil? 1. It could damage the oil filter. 2. It could damage the catalytic converter. 3. It could damage the electric wiring. 4. It could damage the engine. What should a driver do when involved in an incident where nobody is injured but the vehicles are causing a danger or obstruction on the road? 1. Do nothing and wait for the emergency services. 2. Mark the position of the vehicles and move them off the road. 3. Move them off the road immediately. 4. Contact the gutter. What should a driver do when they want to use a mobile phone? 1. Pull in and stop in a safe place. 2. Jam the phone between your shoulder and ear. 3. Put it on the dashboard and speak loudly. 4. Phone and concentrate on the traffic. A fault in what component would lead to uneven or excessive tire wear? 1. Catalytic converter. 2. Engine. 3. Suspension. 4. Tire pressure. What does the speed rating of a tire indicate? 1. The maximum tire pressure required. 2. The minimum speed for which the tire is designed. 3. The minimum tire pressure required. 4. The maximum speed for which the tire is designed. What should a driver do when driving on a wide road behind a vehicle that is signaled to turn right ahead? 1. Overtake on the right hand side and carry on. 2. Stay behind close and wait for the vehicle to pass. 3. Stop until the vehicle has turned. 4. Overtake on the left hand side and carry on. Which vehicle is in the correct position to make a right turn from the major road into the minor road? 1. Car 4 is in a correct position to make a right turn. 2. 
Car 3 is in the correct position to make a right turn. 3. Car 1 is in the correct position to make a right turn. 4. Car 2 is in the correct position to make a right turn. How should a driver overtake the cyclist in this situation? 1. By passing on the shoulder. 2. By staying to the left of the broken white line. 3. The driver should not pass the cyclist in this situation. 4. By crossing the broken white line. What should a driver check regularly to ensure they have a good clear view of the road when driving? 1. The seating is at proper height. 2. The windscreen wipers are working correctly. 3. The mirrors are properly adjusted. 4. The laminate on the windscreen is not damaged. When should a driver use the vehicle side lights? 1. When driving between the hours of 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. 2. When driving in urban areas at night. 3. When driving in rural areas at night. 4. When parking on an unlit road. What does this sign mean? 1. Slippery stretch of road ahead. 2. Unprotected key, canal or river ahead. 3. Series of dangerous bends ahead. 4. Sharp depression or dip ahead. When turning right from a minor road onto a dual carriageway with a narrow or median strip, what should a driver do? 1. Reduce speed and advance with caution. 2. Stay close to the right and turn when safe to do so. 3. Proceed with caution. 4. Wait on the minor road until there is a suitable gap in the traffic from both directions. What should a driver do when they see children just ahead on the road? 1. Reduce speed immediately. 2. Switch to a lower gear. 3. Give them a wide clearance and be prepared to slow down if necessary. 4. Drive around them. When should a driver use their hazard warning lights? 1. When increasing speed and overtaking another vehicle. 2. When driving in poor weather conditions. 3. When the vehicle has broken down. When causing an unavoidable obstruction. 4. When pulling off to the far shoulder. What should the car driver do in this situation? 1. The driver must check blind spots before turning. 2. The driver must signal before proceeding. 3. The driver should proceed with caution. 4. The driver must allow the cyclist to proceed. How regularly should a vehicle be serviced? 1. Once per month. 2. As often as indicated in the manufacturer's specification. 3. Once per day. 4. 
once per week. What should the driver do if there are cattle on the road ahead? 1. The driver should reduce speed and overtake with care. 2. Pull over immediately. 3. Honk the horn and accelerate gently. 4. The driver should increase speed and overtake with care. If driving from A to B, what do these road markings mean? 1. No U-turn allowed. 2. A driver may not cross the lines to overtake. 3. A driver may overtake if it is safe to do so. 4. No parking allowed. What should a driver do if their progress is hindered by a cyclist ahead? 1. Honk the horn to notify the cyclist you will be passing. 2. Increase speed and overtake the cyclist. 3. Check mirrors, indicate and pass the cyclist. 4. Stay well back until there is an opportunity to overtake safely. What should a driver do to assist a person who is unconscious following a collision? 1. Loosen tight clothing around the neck and keep the person warm with a blanket or overcoat. 2. Pour cold water over their face to try and wake them up. 3. Lay them on their back and tilt their head slightly. 4. Lay them on their side. What should a driver do if dazzled, or blinded, by the lights of an oncoming vehicle at night? 1. Switch on hazard warning lights. 2. Do not look directly at the lights. Look away and slow down and stop if necessary. 3. Reduce speed. 4. Notify the other driver by flashing your headlights. What should a driver be aware of when following the cyclist who is approaching a parked car? 1. The cyclist may overtake the parked car on the right. 2. The cyclist may overtake the parked car on the left. 3. The cyclist may stop suddenly. 4. The cyclist may not be seen in the vehicle's blind spot. If a driver passes their test using a vehicle with automatic transmission, which vehicles are they licensed to drive? 1. All vehicles. 2. Automatic vehicles only. 3. Manual and automatic transmission vehicles. 4. All vehicles excluding tractors and heavy goods. When is the use of the horn prohibited? 1. The use of a horn is never prohibited. 2. Between 11.30 p.m. and 7 a.m. in a build-up area. 3. Between 8.30 p.m. and 8 a.m. in a build-up area. 4. Between 10.30 p.m. and 7.003 a.m. in a build-up area. What should a driver do when traveling on a country road with following traffic, and they meet pedestrians? 1. Check all blind spots. 
2. Signal to following traffic their intention to overtake the pedestrians. 3. Reduce speed immediately. 4. Proceed with caution. While driving on a primary road that is not divided by a central dividing line, what should a driver do? 1. Drive on the shoulder to be safe. 2. Imagine there is a central line and drive on the right hand side. 3. Imagine there is a central line and drive on the left hand J side. 4. Drive in the center of the road to avoid confusion. When driving along a dual carriageway, what lane position should a driver be in? 1. In the left-hand lane unless the driver wishes to overtake or turn right. 2. In the right-hand lane. 3. In the lane closest to the shoulder. 4. In the center lane. When a driver wishes to drive a vehicle and they're not sure if they are covered by insurance, what should they do? 1. They should drive until cover is confirmed by their insurance company. 2. They should not drive until cover is confirmed by their J insurance company. 3. Contact their local getter. 4. They should contact their local tax office. What is the purpose of the vehicle's reflectors? 1. They show your speed to other road users. 2. They look flashy. 3. They can replace the lights in case of failure. 4. They reflect light at night to make other road users aware of the vehicle. A driver who is about to undertake a journey is upset or angry. What should they do? 1. Eat a light snack. 2. Proceed to drive with care. 3. Take a short walk. 4. Not drive until they are calm. What danger can arise if a driver has to brake suddenly? 1. Both the driver and the passengers could be thrown backwards. 2. The airbag may expand. 3. The braking system may lock. 4. Both the driver and passengers could be thrown forward. When driving through a residential area, what particular hazard should a driver be aware of? 1. Park vehicles. 2. Dogs or cats may jump out suddenly. 3. Vehicles may drive or reverse onto the road. Children or residents may come out suddenly. 4. Pedestrians walking. How might a driver know if there is black ice on the road? 1. There will be a decrease in road noise in the vehicle. Steering will seem lighter. 2. There will be a sudden change in road surface. 3. There will be an increase in road noise in the vehicle. Steering will seem heavier. 4. Generally, there will be a sudden loud noise.
What should a driver be prepared for in this situation? 1. The speed limit may change ahead. 2. The cyclist ahead may need to stop suddenly. 3. The cyclist ahead may not signal when turning or stopping. 4. The cyclist ahead may move out to turn right at the junk zone. What does blue smoke coming from the vehicle's exhaust mean? 1. The engine is overheating. 2. The engine is filtering fuel. 3. The engine is burning oil. 4. The engine is working hard. What does this sign mean? 1. Be aware of pedestrians during time shown. 2. Pedestrianize street ahead, traffic allowed during time shown. 3. No pedestrians on the street ahead. 4. Stop the school warden. What should a driver be conscious of in this situation? 1. People crossing the street at the rear of the bus. 2. The bus may pull out suddenly. 3. The bus may be in the vehicle's blind spot. 4. People crossing the street at the front of the bus.